Direction Fronts probably always the right choice on this map, as it's the easiest camp to creep, gets you closest to level 2. You get a level 2 perma drop, which is always very helpful. Especially if it's something like Gloves of Haste or Claws of Attack. Really useful for fending off ghouls. So, I would also always recommend creeping this camp first, uh, versus pretty much every race. If you're in the Human Mirror, you could try something else. If creeps something bigger, maybe Mercenaries. Uh, it's all very spawn dependent. Uh, in this spawn, Todd's basically just playing it cookie cut. Uh, if you spawn, for example, where Lucifer spawned, you can creep out your mercenaries right away. Uh, I typically do that in that spawn. I don't power build, per se, but I take like five militia and go creep it. Uh, if you look what's going on now, uh, Todd just sort of making peasants and footies and running around the map, because there's not much Todd can do. Per se, right now, his footman army is too small to really have a dominating presence over any sort of hero harasses that may occur. And at the same time, what what you're getting at with this early game is Todd's not really creeping level two. He's not really doing anything proactive to help him win the game. But on the same token, he's not doing anything that's making him lose the game either. Whereas Lucifer's harass isn't really doing much of anything. Now. This is one of the reasons why a lot of undead players opt to just say fuck it and go and just creep at the start. I don't think that's right either. I think undead really just doesn't have many good options versus human this early in the game. Like, the harass versus a good player like Todd, the harass is just so bad. Like, it it doesn't really do much of anything. Um, right now, as you can see, Lucifer is just sort of dicking around in the middle of the map with his DK. And Todd's creeping, or about to creep out an expansion. It's like, sure, he Todd maybe he's gonna come up here and do some damage, but the point of the fact of the matter is, there's not going to be that much that Lucifer can proactively do at this stage in the game to really just get an edge over Todd. Uh, Todd's expansion is gonna go up pretty much no matter what. Um, once you get up to a skill level like this, there's really not much you can do. But you gotta understand. The matchup, I'd say, is very even, depending on the circumstances, and just plainly in this case, what you're what you're looking at with Undead is in the early game, you really just don't have a plethora of great choices. You can cheese them somehow with dual crypt ghouls, maybe. You can tech to destros. There's a lot of things you can do. You can creep with fiends, but the problem is, is that your options are limited to what you can and cannot do based on the human player. Like, for right now, Todd, what is Lucifer doing? It's cross... He's spawning... He's expanding the furthest possible away from Lucy's base. And Todd having great intuition, guard towers are going up. So what the hell is he going to do? His gargoyles are going to fly all the way across the map into some guard towers. It's... It's... The spawns right now are so human biased, it's like hard to say anything like Todd's playing great or anything. He's just in a good position to win the game from the get go. Furthermore, Lucifer is again, he doesn't have any good options. He's gonna try and go gargs. Um I understand the sentiment in going gargs, um, on this map especially, but the problem is going gargs so quickly seems to be bad. And I'm not trying to harshly criticize Luz for his play, because he would kick my ass. The point I'm trying to make here is the gargoyles are dependent on towers. They're going to die to guard towers, period. Two gargoyles versus two guard guard towers this is an extremely lopsided fight. And Lucifer, seeing these two guard towers going up right now, must be playing for the late game. There's absolutely nothing that uh, Lucifer can do to Todd's expansion. Todd literally got his expansion up with two peasants lost, and he, it's up. His expansion is up and running with towers. There's virtually nothing that can be done to stop Todd at this point. Um, even the gargoyles are doing such an infinitesimally small amount of damage to any of Todd's units based on the healing fountain that Lucifer is proactively doing nothing to win this game. And it's like, you need to be, you need to be a bit more open-minded than that than to just go gargs in this case. I mean, like, I I don't like to just harshly criticize Lucifer's play like this because the guy is an insanely good player, but I think in this case he's just plainly in the wrong. Now, I'm not exactly suggesting anything he could have done that's better, which would either lead you to believe that A, I'm bad, and just I should not be criticizing his play to begin with, or B, there is nothing better you can do, in which case the matchup's imbalanced. But... 
I mean, like, granted, Todd is playing extremely well. I mean, if you look at just simply at what units Todd has, okay, his footies and an Archmage, and you, he just crept that whole camp, like, without losing any of the creeps, because he was able to micro efficiently and just keep his units in check. And as you can see, um, Lucifer's forced to run because he's getting surrounded. And it's like, the shots coming back at the gargoyles from the footies are I do a lot more damage than the gargoyles are doing to the footmen. So there isn't all that much to be said or done about it. Now right here is extremely bad. <laughs> Kill it. I kind of want Lucifer to just run up and snag the creep, but I don't think he's going to. Um... Probably smart play by Lucifer doesn't want to risk losing any gargs, which he does anyway. But as you can see, this water elemental is just like it's like blah. Like what? What's even going on here? You know, it, nothing good is happening. And I guess it's sort of a slot. It's not even a sloppy game. It's just like, like strategy versus strategy. It is a strategy game. And what you're ending up with is Todd playing the same strategy two games in a row, and Lucifer trying to do something to beat it. Now, I think playing in the short game like this is probably the absolute wrong way to approach the matchup. Um, if he gets a lot of Gargs, and then he gets a Panda Second and starts going Destroyers, which I think he may this game, he has a better shot at it. But that's because Panda is extremely good against D-Hawks and Gyros, so any combination of the two will be beneficial for Lucifer in those fights. Um, Todd right now... Uh, again, playing extremely standard, but if you look at the amount of guard towers he's making this game, it's different than the amount of guard towers he's making last game, because in this particular game, he is expecting a very strong push. Um, I mean, if you look at Lucifer's money, he's maxed out on cash on Gargs and, you know, Panda and all this stuff. And what's happening now is he's trying to fight human repair rate with gargs, and it's not going well for him. Um, right now, um, Lucifer is starting to do well, because he just has such an enormous amount of gargoyles, that there's virtually nothing that Todd can do to just, like, to completely stop it from happening. However, the repair rate's so good at this point, and with two water elementals out, he's losing a lot more gargs than he's actually doing damage to. And when there's that many peasants repairing a tower, he has virtually no chance. So, granted, he tried, but it there was not much he could do with that with two water elementals out like that, and he just lost his panda. Uh, at this is the point where I would say GG is the undead player. Um, you just lost all of the units you had that were of a tech advantage to towers. And you lost your second hero. Bleh. I had to get a drink there. Um, fortunately for Todd, he, nothing bad happened to him whatsoever. He just has to rebuild his towers a little bit. Um, he is a little short on numbers, so he's producing peasants at his town hall. That's a very important ben uh factor of having two bases is you can always have the correct number of peasants either way. And if you look at what Todd, essentially what Todd's doing is you went MK and he's going straight up to gyro to uh, workshops. And he can either go tanks for gyros, um, sometimes go tanks for his guards just because there's virtually nothing they can do to stop you from owning them. And this is a really smart play by Lucifer, just continue